Good evening everyone, welcome to the Haunted Library Tour. This is your tour guide, Miss Mal. This library is 100 years old. It is full of treasures. Welcome. Well, do not be afraid. The ghosts here mostly are very friendly. This is our oldest clock and this clock has many different sounds. This clock is over 100 years old. This was donated by the richest woman in the ghost county. It has been said that her ghost live in this clock. Don't be afraid. Clock is very friendly. There are several ghosts here you might encounter, but most of them are friendly except few are in the basement. They are not friendly at all. They are very demonic. Here is... Hello, Miss Agatha Jones. You have some visitors here today. Yes, dear. Wake up. It's time to wake up. This is Mrs. Agatha Jones and this is Miss Susie, Susie Brown. Hello Miss Susie Brown. Mrs. Agatha Jones is the head librarian here and Miss Susie Brown is the library assistant. This is very polite. It seems she stayed that way over a hundred years is extremely polite except her eyes just glow sometimes but don't let that scare you dear everything here I call it magical not scary here we're going through all the bookshelves now doors are endless beware Beware that the doors open by themselves and of course they close by themselves. So beware of them. And please, I repeat, please everyone walk in groups, do not. I repeat, you must not walk here alone or you will not be able to come out of this library. Trust me when I say this, we did have some visitors who were stuck in the library for hundreds of years, dear. There's no way to get out of this. This is very spooky yet very difficult to find the way out so you must walk in groups yes and there are many ghosts surrounding they're talking making noises do not let that distract you they are just doing their reading they stay here for hundreds of years and this is their home. They don't know where else to go. Where would they go? They don't have a place to go. So we must respect that and we are just visitors. We're not here to throw them out or bother them. Let them be in their state. Whatever state they are there, let them be there. Now, I don't know if you are, but you should keep counts of the doors. How many doors you pass through 
as many doors that you pass through must have someone in your group to keep count and that many doors you need to pass here's the clock again the another clock see this two of your clocks are your sign so as many doors as you pass through you see your second clock and then you know that you are what you're supposed to be so now this clock will give some bells and as the clock finishing the bells we will continue with our tour in this wonderful ghost county public library which is now ghost library but we do get enormous amount of visitors due to the ghost i believe and these ghosts are awfully friendly unless unless you bother them and we got some wonderful book sales now these books are very nicely organized thanks to mrs agatha jones and miss susie brown and here if you're sitting and reading a book you can enjoy the outside view from this wonderful glass door and we do have some people browsing in the library checking out books we are more than welcome to check anything you wish but be mindful to keep the books nice and clean the way it is before you put them back on the shelf we have some handy cloths use them to dust the books and put it back the way it was now you can check out anything you wish read and this is the uh, one of the best library with enormous amount of collection and books and other materials and we take pride of our library and i i should hope that over the coming years stays just the way it is and we don't have any problems here the books gets to the higher self by itself since this is a uh, a spooky ghost library all supernatural things happen here and all miss agatha has to do is just she would just wink and the books will start flying and going to higher self as you can see how we transport our books and we have about 100 year old material we have vhs cassettes and we have cds and all these things may seem to you very old style but we still take pride and joy of these things having them and watching them and our library does have some old style machines where you can play this vhs tape recorders and watch them and now here is a customer who lost his way and been stuck in that condition god knows how many years we haven't kept track of the years probably 50 years and he's stuck in between doors and we don't know which door so all he can give us signal and we went and looked through doors from doors oh my dear i have looked everywhere for this this young man looks to me a young man or could be a male in his 30s but we had no way to find out where he's stuck probably in between doors but we encourage all of you to walk in groups let somebody be in charge of the group 
and know which way you went, how many doors you passed, and how to get back. Remember those clocks? After certain doors, we had the clocks. Check those clocks, how many clocks you passed through. And just be mindful and you will trip over Miss Susie Brown once in a while because she is all over the library fixing things. She's just the sweetest doll and she doesn't speak much so you will just see her working around the library and putting books and things away and she usually does not get in your way none of the ghosts here actually try to scare you or anything they all mind their own business except the basement we'll talk about that later here it is so the basement when you go to the basement that's where the ghosts are really noisy and they are like very spooky the basement was the worst place in this library and i wouldn't advise you to go there unless you're in a large group and know how to come up again and not to get lost not to get spooked out so do watch out for that very spooky basement now this is the center for the books if you want to photocopy a book you can do that and then you will check out that photocopy portion of the book and now when you photocopy here this is the photocopy machine this is all magical does not require you to pay any money or whatsoever you can photocopy the pages the book stays here and those pages you can check out right here so if you have a book you want to photocopy you check out the book here and go to the photocopy center photocopy and then you bring the book return here in this cell you would put the book and then miss susie will come and collect and this is the exit point of the library you came through one door and this is the door you must exit there's no other door you can exit and you make sure you exit all together you keep your count how many people came and how many people went out thank you so much for visiting our library i hope you enjoyed the trip